Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego, California, and I have an amazing Glock 40 Gen 4 MOS here in front of me that we have transformed from a plain black Glock into a work of art. Now, first of all, you have to look at this thing, and, and the, the 40 just of itself is just awesome. I mean, it's got the long six-inch barrel. And uh, yeah, that alone is, is just a formidable gun. And you know it shoots a 10 millimeter cartridge, right? The 40 shoots a 10 millimeter cartridge. Because of that, it uh, you know, creates quite a wallop. And a lot of people are hunting with these guns. A lot of guys in Canada and Alaska are carrying these to ward off uh, you know, any of bear or uh, big old moose that may come charging at them. Because this is the cartridge, this is the, the gun that has the velocity, the, um, uh, should I say, the energy to actually stop a big animal. You know, and that's really what you have to think about if you're out there in the woods and you're hunting or you're just traping around and here comes a bear, you know, a nine millimeter is not gonna cut it. But the 10 millimeter will, okay? Remember the 10 millimeter is a 40 caliber long. Okay, uh, the 10 millimeter was out first, and it was such a formidable round. Everybody thought, "Oh, we just can't handle it." You know, so much recoil that uh, Smith and Wesson developed the 40 caliber S and W, and they basically took the 10 and just shrunk it down. The cartridge, that is, had less uh, same diameter bullet, right? Okay, that was the idea, but less gunpowder. So the 40 really took off because it was. Less recoil, easier to manage, easier to hold, handle, less expensive, all that stuff, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. However, I'm seeing, and I think industry-wide we're seeing, a resurgence of the uh, 10 millimeter. People really like it. So this Glock 40 10 millimeter Gen 4, it's the MOS. Let's go and talk about the MOS real quick, just so you understand what that is. MOS is modular optic system. It's Glock's answer to can we get into the red dot optic business. So what they do is they ship the gun kind of like this in black, and this plate comes off. They give you a series of four plates. I think I actually have them right here, actually. And there they are. Look at that. So you get four plates that you can actually then uh, choose based upon which site you use. So each plate will handle a different site or two. There's two holes there, obviously. One there, double. Okay, so they uh, basically then you mount that plate onto the gun and then you mount the site onto this plate. It's a great concept, great idea. Been selling like crazy. A lot of people are going to the Red Dot Optics. This gun did not. But that's okay, because uh, we did a bunch of other neat stuff as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have done. The pyramid cut is what we did on the slide here. And it's finished in NP3, which is one of my favorites. And I'm going to tell you why. First of all, NP3 is a military-grade uh, finish that is impervious to uh, solvents and toxic uh, chemicals and uh, uh, dirt and grease and grime. It's almost like a Teflon. You can kind of feel it, how smooth it is. So that does two things. One, it's self-lubricating somewhat. Two, it's super easy to clean. Stuff just doesn't stick on it, you know? So you can just literally wipe it down and it cleans itself. So you don't have to scrub it. It, it really uh, is an easy cleaning gun. Uh, looks great. And it stays this way. It doesn't wear off. It's, you know, electrically bonded to the metal. So it's kind of like an anodized almost, but it's uh, this NP3 that uh, is just amazing. And I've got it on several of my guns. Uh, we do offer it and we have a lot of customers take it. I actually, you know, like this gun because I have a... Uh, 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 an affinity for this uh, silver red black concept. I just think they look really good. So let's go through it then. Uh, we talked about the NP3 finish, talked about our pyramid cut. Uh, we have our extended control kit. Yeah, this is in chrome. And you can see uh, the extended slide stop, extended slide lock, which is the takedown lever, uh, extended magazine button, our big mouth magwell, and the red extended heavy weight base pads. Look at that. Doesn't add any rounds, but is extended, allows you to seat the magazine without having to get up inside the magwell. Very nice. Gun is of course empty. As I pull the trigger, I remind myself that this is our pyramid trigger. How could I forget? Because that's what really makes this gun awesome. 
Yeah, the Pyramid Trigger is, uh, as you know, one of our best-selling items and one of the, you know, if not the best trigger on the market because it reduces the overall weight of the trigger but also the trigger travel. Okay, so it's a shorter stroke to make it go bang. And the reset is shorter as well, right there. So you can manipulate the trigger faster, shoot faster, and more accurately because you're less likely to disturb the sight picture as you yank on the trigger. A big Glock factory trigger. <laughs> You know, that's where accuracy problems happen. Well, we take care of all that with the pyramid trigger, and it allows you to manipulate that trigger faster. And, and it's actually, you know, almost like cheating because you get to shoot faster, and, of course, you will be more accurate because your trigger finger does not uh, get as fatigued. And as soon as it gets fatigued, you start using big muscles. And as soon as you start using big muscles, the whole gun's moving all over the place. And I'm exaggerating, of course. But when you move it just a little bit at 10 yards, it turns out to be a lot. So that said, uh, this pyramid trigger makes a big difference. This is our teardrop mag uh, release button too, by the way. I don't know if I told you that. We have it in different shapes, this being the teardrop shape, which we think is uh, pretty attractive. It's also uh, it's a big paddle. It gives you a lot of leverage to be able to manipulate that uh, uh, release button without adjusting your grip. And a lot of people I talk to, that's one of their major concerns. On this gun, we also have a slide pull charging handle. This is the no horn charging handle, which you can actually do right here like so. You can do it one side. You can also do it on a table or on your belt loop. Just did it there. How about that? So yes, you can do it uh, with a variety of things. A lot of people have trouble manipulating the slide, squeezing it, and pushing back at the same time or grabbing it here and pushing it back. So this actually is a, a nice feature. And especially if you do it a lot, your hands get tired. Okay, so the other thing you'll obviously notice is the um, stippling job we've done on the grip panels and the entire grip. So this is a combination of basket weave stippling, which you can see there. Let's see if I can get you some light there. There it is. There's your basket weave. And then on the back, we have basket weave, but right in here, we just have your fine point stippling too. So they kind of break it up a little bit. Really looks attractive. Super nice. And on the other side, same thing. I like that a lot. I think it's pretty classy and nice. And uh, takes uh, a lot of effort, but uh, we get them done. And we do them well. So all that is very happy. Uh, inside uh, is a tungsten guide rod. Now notice on the tungsten guide rod, we have a red front. And we offer that in a variety of different colors. And, uh, of course, the red matches up with all the other red theme he's got. It's actually pretty cool. And there it is right there. So now when I release it, you can't really see it there, but it's there. On the regular gun, without the long slide, it would, you, know, you would see it. So That said, uh, this is one heck of a custom gun. And it's going to shoot well. It's going to look great. And it goes into a case that looks just like this. This is one of our custom cases. Okay, we have a variety of different covers for these cases. This one happens to be the, uh, uh, the we, the people, you know, uh, United States uh, Constitution one, uh, basically. And um, uh, we have, as I said, a variety of different designs. Go to our website and check them out. But it does dress your case up. It's a real simple little package. You know, I mean, they're like 20 bucks. But they look great, okay? And something you can do at your own home. You can just buy this and we'll, you, know, you can stick it on. We've got a couple of different ones. And on the back side, there's our Second Amendment. Pretty cool. So that's, uh, that's a good look at uh, some of the work we can do if you have a custom gun idea in mind, if you have something you want to create. If you like something like this, give us a call. Go on the website. Look at some pictures in our gallery and get some ideas on you know, the things you like. And then uh, you know, let's put something custom together for you. Just a phone call away, and we're ready to build a gun that will make you not only happy, but make you a better shooter. I'm Lenny McGill. This, of course, is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in San Diego. If you are in Southern California or San Diego, come by and see us. We've got a great retail experience, and I know you'll be happy you drop by. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time.